Hello everyone, welcome back to our Learning English Through Case Law series. In this video we will study Case Law No.49-2021-L slash on Determining Administrative Decisions Issued Unauthorizedly Including 5 Parts, Part 1, Source of the Case Law, Part 2, Overview of the Case Law, Part 3, Content of the Case, Part 4, Assessment of the Court, Part 5 Rules This case was approved by the Council of Judges of the Supreme People's Court on November 25, 2021 and announced in Decision No. 594-QDCA dated December 31, 2021 of the Chief Justice of the Supreme People's Court. Cassation Decision No. 06-2019-HCGDT dated April 2, 2019 of the Council of Judges of the Supreme People's Court on the case of complaint about administrative decisions in the field of land management between the petitioner Mr. Tai Van N and the defendant being the chairman of the People's Committee of Province D. The person with related rights and obligations is Church V. Part 2. Overview of the Case Law. Case law situation, the chairman of the People's Committee issues an administrative decision to settle a land dispute which is related to a land use right contract, legal resolution, in this case, the court must determine that the contract dispute over land use rights falls under the court's jurisdiction, the chairman of the People's Committee is not authorized to issue administrative decisions to settle such land disputes. Key words of the case law, administrative decision, land dispute, contract on land use rights. Part 3. Content of the Case In the petition dated September 24, 2012, and during the settlement process, Mr. Tai Van N presented the origin of the disputed land between Church V, referred to as Church, and Mr. Tai Van N's household belongs to the Church, due to the land donation of Mr. Nguyen Van Q and Mrs. Nguyen T S, who are the parents of Mr. Nguyen Phu T, and a portion donated by Mr. Nguyen Van E to the Church in 1960. In 1961, the church was built with the width of 11 meter. In 1976, the church allowed Mr. N to build a house on the church's land and to take care of the church, because Mr. N is a faithful parishioner, with the width of 16 m, length from Highway 80 to River P, about 30 m. Mr. N built his house on the 5 m wide land, the rest of the land, Mr. N planted bananas and mangoes. During the land use process, in 1986 Mr. N's family built 02 more living rooms and 01 kitchen next to the main house. In 1999, the church's land was eroded, so the church was moved to the opposite land, across National Highway 80. The former church's land was partly allocated to Mr. Nguyen Phu T who was the son of Mr. Q, the former landowner, and part of it was given to Mrs. M and Mr. K in exchange for materials to build the church. Particularly, the land area Mr. N's family used for housing, including a house built in 1976 and 02 bedrooms, 01 kitchen built in 1986, Mr. N's family continues to use. On January 18, 2003, the priest Nguyen Quang D and the representative of the Religious Affairs Committee of Church V made the land allocation sheet and assigned Mr. N to use the land area with a width of 10 m, the length of which is from National Highway 80 to River P 30 m, total area is 300 square meters. In 2009, Mr. N repaired the old main house and added a mobile phone shop. The church did not agree, so a dispute arose. Mr. N believed that he had been transferred by the priest Nguyen Quang D and the representative of the Religious Affairs Committee of Church V for the land according to land allocation sheet dated January 18, 2003. According to the extract from the cadastral map by the Land Use Right Registration Office of District P on September 1, 2011, Mr. N's main house has an area of 134.7 square meters, 5.8 m wide, a mobile phone shop of 102 2m2, 4.4 m wide. The church has filed an official letter to the People's Committee of Province D to request for a settlement. On May 14, 2012, the chairman of the People's Committee of Province D issued decision number 197-QDUBNDND to settle the land disputes, with the content, Article 1, Recognition of Land Use Rights for Mr. Tai Van N, the area with the location of the area is as follows, plus the east borders on Mr. Nguyen Phu T, side 23.8 M plus the west borders the church land, 24.3 m side, plus the south borders national road 80, side 5.8 m, 
plus the north borders with River P, Site 5.4M, recognition of land use. Rights for Church V with the area and location as follows. Plus the east borders on Taiban N, Site 24.3M, plus the west borders on Ms. Huin TM, Site 23.7M, plus the south borders National Highway 80, Site 4.4M, plus the north borders with River P, 4.2M side, attached by the extract from the Cadastral Map of Land Registration Office, District P established on September 1, 2011. Demand Mr. N to move structures and plants, if any, to return the above land to the church. On September 24, 2012, Mr. N filed a lawsuit requesting the court to abrogate decision number 197-QDUBND dated May 14, 2012 of the Chairman of the People's Committee of Province D. Opinion of the People's Committee of Province A, the origin of the land was the land donation from Mr. Nguyen Van Q and Mr. Nguyen Van E to the church in 1960, with an area of 28 m wide, length from Highway 30 to River P. The church was built in 1969, the width is 8 m. In 1976, the church gave Mr. N a portion of the land 4 m wide, length from Highway 80 to the River P to build a house and take care of the church, the rest of the land Mr. N planted some fruit trees. In 1999, the church deteriorated, so it moved to another location. Part of the land was given to the old owner, part of it was exchanged with Mr. K to get materials to build a new church. On January 18, 2003, the priest Ng Nguyen Quang D and the representative of the Religious Affairs Committee of Church V made the land allocation sheet and assigned Mr. N to use the land area with a width of 10 m, the length of which is from National Highway 80 to River P 30 m, total area is 300 square meters. In 2009, Mr. N repaired, built a new house, extended the building to the full width of 10 m and got disputed by the church. Receiving the church's complaint, the chairman of Province D People's Committee resolved with decision no. 197-QDUBND and dated May 14, 2012 recognized Mr. N's right to use the land area with width of 5.8 square meters and 5.4 m, length 23.8 m and 24.3 m, in terms of the rest of the land Mr. N have to move structures and plants and return the land to the church. The above decision considered the land use process of Mr. N's family, although in 2003 the priest of Church V made a land allocation sheet for Mr. N, but it has not been certified by the local government, so it has no legal value, Gia Trifap Ly. The decision of the People's Committee of Province D is grounded, and it is suggested not to accept Mr. N's request. Opinion of Church V the origin of the church's land was land donation by parishioners Mr. Q, donated the land area with an area of 21 m wide, long from Highway 80 to River P and Mr. E sell the area of 7 m wide and long from Highway 80 to River P in 1960. Total width is 28 m and length from National Highway 80 to River P. In 1961, the church was built with a width of 11 m. In 1976, the church allowed Mr. N's family, Mr. N's family was a faithful parishioner, to use the land area for M wide, from Highway 80 to the riverbank to build a house and take care of the church. The rest of the land, Mr. N's family grows fruit trees, mango, banana. In 1986, Mr. N's family built two more rooms and a kitchen next to the main house. In 1999, the church's land was eroded, the church was allowed by the Provincial People's Committee to move to the opposite land for rebuilding. The old land of the church, the church handed over to Mr. T01 part, because Mr. T is a son of Mr. Q, the old landowner, and assigned a part of the land to Mrs. M and Mr. K in exchange for building materials for the church. On January 18, 2003, the priest in charge of the church, Mr. Nguyen Kwong D, and the Religious Affairs Department of Church V made a land allocation sheet for Mr. N's family with a width of 10 m, the length from National Highway 80 to the riverbank. The two parties made an oral agreement, the purpose was to exchange materials for building the church, but Mr. N's family did not comply, so the church did not go to the Commune People's Committee to authenticate the land allocation sheet for Mr. N. In 2009, Mr. N built a permanent house and built a part of the house to sell mobile phones, the church did not agree, so a dispute arose. The church only agreed to let Mr. N use the land with a width of 4 m, the land portion with the width of 1.2 m must be negotiated for a price with the church, the remaining area of 4.4 m wide and long from Highway 80 to the River P must be returned to the church. The church agreed with decision number 197-QDUBND dated May 14, 2012 of the chairman of the Provincial People's Committee and proposed the court to reject Mr. N's petition.
In the first instance administrative judgment number 02-2014-HCST dated June 27, 2014, the People's Court of Dong Phat Province decided, rejecting Mr. Taiwan N's request for the abrogation of decision number 197-QDUBND dated May 14, 2012, of the chairman of the Provincial People's Committee D. The Court of First Instance also decided on the court fee, on July 10, 2014, Mr. N filed an appeal against the entire first instance administrative judgment. At the protest decision number 89 QDKNPTP5 dated November 7, 2014, the People's Procuracy of Dong Phat Province protested against the first instance administrative judgment number 02 2014 HCST dated June 27, 2014, of the People's Court of Dong Phat Province and requested the appeal court to grant judgment in direction of amending the first instance judgment and partially annulling decision. Number 197 QDUBNDND dated May 14, 2012, of the Chairman of the People's Committee of D Province at the appellate. Court hearing, the representative of the High People's Procuracy in Ho Chi Minh City withdrew all protest decisions of the Chief Procurator of Dong Thap Province People's Procuracy. In the Appellate Administrative Judgment No. 65-2015-HCPT dated September 9, 2015, the High People's Court in Ho Chi Minh City decided, terminate the appellate trial against protest decision No. 89-QDKNPTP5 dated November 7, 2014 of the Chief Procurator of Dong Thap People's Procuracy. Do not accept the appeal request of Mr. Tai B, authorized representative of the petitioner. Uphold the first instance judgment number 02-20-04-HCST dated June 27, 2014 of the People's Court of Dong Phat Province. Applying Article 31 of the 1993 Land Law and Decree Number 17-1999-NDCP dated March 29, 1999 on procedures of conversion, transfer, leasing, releasing, in heritage by land use rights and capital contribution by land use rights, decide. Do not accept Mr. Taiban N's request to abrogate decision number 197-QDUBNDND dated May 14, 2012 of the chairman of the D Provincial People's Committee, the appellate court decided on the court fee. On November 17, 2015, Mr. N submitted an application for cassation procedures against the appellate administrative judgment number 65-2015-HCPT dated September 9, 2015 of the High People's Court in Ho Chi Minh City. On January 2, 2018, September 5, 2018 and September 7, 2018, the People's Committee of Province D issued document No. 32-UBNDNC, 232-UBNDNC and 349-UBNDNC requesting to review by cassation procedures towards the appellate administrative judgment No. 65-2015-HCPT dated September 9, 2015 of the High People's Court in Ho Chi Minh City. At the protest decision No. 25-2018-KNFC dated November 9, 2018, the Chief Justice of the Supreme People's Court protested the Appellate Administrative Judgment No. 65-2015-HCPT dated September 9-2015 of the High People's Court in Ho Chi Minh City according to cassation procedures and proposed the Council of Judges of the Supreme People's Court to conduct a cassation trial in the direction of annulling the Appellate Administrative Judgment. Number 65-2015-HCPT dated September 9, 2015 of the High People's Court in Ho Chi Minh City and the First Instance Administrative Judgment No. 02-2014-HCST dated June 27, 2014 of the People's Court Dong Thap Province, hand over the case file to the People's Court of Dong Thap Province for First Instance Settlement in accordance with the law. At the cassation hearing, the representative of the Supreme People's Procuracy proposed to the Council of Judges of the Supreme People's Court to accept the protest of the Chief Justice of the Supreme People's Court. Part 4. Assessment of the Court, Court's Findings. 1. Regarding the dispute settlement jurisdiction. 2. The land portion that Mr. Tai Van En's family is using which was determined as 202.2 square meters, with a phone store of Mr. N's family on the land, belonging to a part of land plot number 42 of the cadastral map sheet number 8 a commune v, district p, Dong Thap province was originally donated by some parishioners to the church. In 1976, the church let Mr. N's family to use a part of land with a width of 4m, the length from National Highway 80 to the river bank to build a house and take care of the church. On January 18, 2003, 
Father Nguyen Quang Di and the Church's Religious Affairs Committee made a land allocation sheet for Mr. N to use the land with the width of 10 m, the length from Highway 80 to the river P30 m, an area of 300 square meters. 3. In 2009, Mr. N repaired the main house permanently and added a mobile phone store. The church did not agree, so a dispute arose. Mr. N believed that he was given the land plot by the priest Nguyen Quang Di and the representative of the Religious Affairs Committee of Church V, according to the land allocation sheet made on January 18, 2003. The representative of Church V admitted that there was a land allocation sheet as Mr. N presented, but Mr. N did not perform the handover of materials to build a new church. So the church did not authenticate the document at the Commune People's Committee. Therefore, the dispute between the two parties is related to the contract of land use rights donation between Church V and Mr. N, so the case falls under the jurisdiction of the court as prescribed in Clause 3 Article 25 of the 2004 Civil Procedure Code, Clause 3 Article 26 of the 2015 Civil Procedure Code. The chairman of the People's Committee of Province D issued decision number 197-QDUBNDND dated May 14. 2012 to resolve that the dispute over land use rights between Church V and Mr. Tai Van N was not within his jurisdiction. 4. Regarding the content, 5. Origin and land use process of Mr. N, the land of Church V was previously donated by some parishioners. In 1976, Church V gave Mr. N a piece of land beside the part where the church was built, Mr. N built a house on the part of land allocated by the church, the current state is 134.7 square meters, the rest of the land, the current state is 102.2 square meters, Mr. N grew mango and banana, this is also confirmed by the People's Committee of D Province and the Church. 6. Thus, Mr. N's family used the land given to him by the Church continuously from 1976 to 2009, the land use process has taxed with the state. However, the tax payment receipts do not identify the area in the process of using the land, Mr. N did not declare and register the use rights. 7. In 1999, because Church V moved to another place, the land building the church was returned to the old landowner, Mr. Nguyen Phuc T, and a part of the land was given to Mr. and Mrs. Huynh T. Mai H and Mr. Dang Van K to exchange for materials to build the church, between these families there is no dispute regarding land use rights. 8. On January 18, 2003, the priest in charge and the representative of the Religious Affairs Department of Church V made a land allocation sheet for Mr. N, with the content, now we make this paper to testify the transfer of the land of Church V which is located in Hamlet B, Commune V. It is measured from Highway 80 to the riverbank of P River. With length, 30 meters, width, 10 meters. Total area is 300 square meters. Reason, this land belongs to the church. The family of Mr. Tai Van N and Ms. Huynh T. Mai H have been allowed to live in and fostered by the church until now. Now that the church has moved, this unused land shall be given to Mr. and Mrs. N with full right to declare and use. 9. The content of the above-mentioned land allocation paper is not a land use right transfer contract, in fact, Church V confirms the allocation of land to Mr. N as a land use right donation contract to be basis for N to register the land use right like Mr. T and Mr. K. In fact, when the church assigned the land to Mr. N, Mr. N was still using this land, which the church has not used since 1999. Since the land allocation sheet, the church had no opinion on this land allocation. At the same time, at the first instance court hearing, the church representative also confirmed, when priest B handed over the property, there were confirmation but no receipt on the area of the land. 10. Thus, the disputed land area Mr. N has used continuously since 1976 until now, the church has not directly used it and Mr. N's family needs to use it. 11. Chairman of the People's Committee of Province D issued decision number 197-QDUBNDND dated May 14, 2012 forcing Mr. N's family to move architectural objects and plants, if any, to return 102.2 square meters of land for the church to use is not correct. 12. The Court of First Instance and the Court of Appeal only base on the area of land on which Mr. N built his house and the testimony of the church representative to decide that Mr. N is entitled to use 134.7 square meters is not consistent with the objective. Reality, Tuk T. E. Kok Kwan, of the case.
at the same time, deciding that the land allocation paper of the church has not been authenticated by the competent authority, Kokwan Kotamguin, so it has no legal value and based on that to reject Mr. N's petition is groundless. 13. Since the chairman of the People's Committee of Province D issued decision number 97 slash dubbed and D dated May 4, 2012 to resolve the land dispute without jurisdiction, Tam Gwyn slash Gwyn Han, the way to settle the case was either not in accordance with the law. Part 5 Rules Pursuant to Clause 1 Article 271, Clause 3, Article 272, and Clause 2, Article 274 of the Law on Administrative Procedures, 1. Accepting the decision of Cassation Protest No. 25-2018-KNAC dated November 9, 2018 of the Chief Justice of the Supreme People's Court against the Appellate Administrative Judgment No. 65-2015-HCPT September 9, 2015 of the High People's Court in Ho Chi Minh City, 2. Abrogating the Appellate Administrative Judgment No. 65-2015-HCPT dated September 9, 2015 of the High People's Court in Ho Chi Minh City, 3. Transfer the case file to the High People's Court in Ho Chi Minh City for retrial in accordance with law. Content of the case law 3. Mr. N believed that he was given the land plot by the priest Nguyen Quang D and the representative of the Religious Affairs Committee of Church V according to the land allocation sheet made on January 18, 2003. The representative of Church V admitted that there was a land allocation sheet as Mr. N presented, but Mr. N did not perform the handover of materials to build a new church, so the church did not authenticate the document at the Commune People's Committee. Therefore, the dispute between the two parties is related to the contract of land use rights donation between Church V and Mr. N, so the case falls under the jurisdiction of the court as prescribed in Clause 3 Article 25 of the 2004 Civil Procedure Code, Clause 3, Article 26 of the 2015 Civil Procedure Code. The Chairman of the People's Committee of Province D issued decision No. 197-QDUBND dated May 14, 2012 to resolve that the dispute over land use rights between Church V and Mr. Tai Van N was not within his jurisdiction.